Hey everyone, it's Lexi, and if you watched my most recent video, you know that I did like a massive spring cleaning where I got rid of a lot of books. So today, I ended up taking them to Half Price Books, and I actually ended up getting a very big store credit, so I decided to get some books. And for the whole books that are featured in here, I ended up only paying $8 for them because I ended up getting also 20% off for selling which was very good, so without further ado, let's get started. So earlier this month, I ended up finishing Private Practice, and it ended up taking me two years to finish it, not because I didn't like it, but because I started watching Gilmore Girls, like, halfway through, so, like, I finally finished it, so I was on the hunt for, like, a new TV show, and I ended up stumbling across One Tree Hill, and I know this was a show that's been around for a while, but I never watched it when I was a teenager, so I decided to give it a try, and I really like it. <laughs> it's going to be like my new addiction now, I can already tell. So I went ahead and bought uh, Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 of One Tree Hill, and I really like this show. I know it ended up changing a lot like later on the seasons, but I really enjoy it now. And I've heard so many great things about this because I know my cousins used to watch this as well. And I'm really enjoying Animal Stun Season 1. So yeah. So continuing on with like the TV show theme, I also ended up purchasing the first two seasons of Downtown Abbey on DVD. And I've never, like, again, I never watched this show. I was kind of, did not join this bandwagon until recently. And I really like it. I love the kind of the historical element to it. And also Professor McGonagall's in it as well. So yeah, I'm super excited. I really love this series. Quickly becoming one of my favorites as well. And kind of to finish out with like the TV series that I also got. I also got the second season of Castle. I know people say like Castle is kind of like Bones with like the switched roles. And I like it. It's enjoyable just because... I know Bones will be ending after next season, which I'm very sad about, so I decided to try this one out as well. And I watched the first season, it was really good, and I'm happy to start this one too. On to movies, the first movie that I purchased this month was The Spider-Rick Chronicles, and I love The Spider-Rick Chronicles growing up, like I, I think I remember reading them in grade 3 or 4, and so yeah, I was super excited. This was only like 3 or 4 dollars on Amazon, so I decided to pick it up, and I watched it the other day, and I love it just as much. I feel like it's kind of wanting me to get to reread these again because it's been so long, but yeah, I love kind of this movie. Moving on, I also ended up getting Finding Neverland, and this is a movie that I watched recently, and I really liked it, so I decided to pick it up on Blu-ray, and it's just really good. It's kind of like a story of how the author, Peter Pan, was like inspired by the people around him to kind of write up with it, and it's actually kind of a bit tragic, but then at the same time, it's also kind of heartwarming, and I just really like it. It's a really good movie as well. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. I think it's free on Amazon Prime and also it's on Netflix. So this is a movie that I saw last year and I really liked it and then I saw that the price went down on Amazon so I decided to pick it up and it is What If and it stars Daniel Radcliffe from the Harry Potter series and I like this. It's about a guy who's kind of like in the friend zone. He falls in love with this girl and just kind of their story together and I really like it just because it takes place in Toronto and it's neat because I'm from Toronto so it's neat to see kind of like the background and like the city and all that. So it's really cute and not a lot of films are films in Toronto so it's nice to kind of see that and it just kind of brings me back home. So the next movie I ended up purchasing was Guardians of the Galaxy and this is like, I don't know, I like this, is I really like the Marvel movies and this one's probably kind of like, I like it a little better than Avengers because it's more of comic relief and there's Chris Pratt. This movie was one that came out last year and it was nominated for Best Picture and Best Actress and I really like this movie. It's a really good coming of age story and it start, it's Brooklyn and I really like this movie. I'm reading the book right now and I really like it and I think it's just a good kind of story. I think I'm going to know I'm going to butcher her name. So Rosie Ronan does a really good job with this. Like she is phenomenal in this movie and it's a good coming of age story and it's like kind of talks about like do you do what's best for you or what's best for everyone else and kind of like the making that decision and I really like that and so if you haven't seen this movie I highly recommend you check it out it is very very well done so in the last kind of kind of movies in here is one that I was super excited it came out on Tuesday and I was really excited I picked it up right away and this is the Hunger Games Mockingjay part 2 and this is like the Target special edition and yeah I just love this I thought it was a very good conclusion to the series I also have like a full review view of the movie as well you can find it I'll probably link out link it down below and yeah and I really like this edition it comes with the it's really cute packaging and then on the back and then it also has like the the blu-ray um the dvd of the film and then also like with special features and I just think this is like just really neat I really like kind of the the packaging of this as well 
And I have like the packaging, the Target special edition packaging for this film for all the other ones. So it's nice to just kind of have them all and I think they look really well together. So moving on to books, I ended up purchasing a total of seven books when I was half half price books just because, yeah, it was only $8 so I can justify that. So the first book that I got was Gravity by Tess Gerritsen and this is about a doctor who is training to go into space and that's basically all I know about it. With these, like with Tess Gerritsen's book in particular, I want there to be like it's better to go into this blind and I think that's what I'm kind of doing here so if I'm a little like vague about the plot line it's just because I don't really want to know about it but yeah I read Harvest um, this month and it was really really good this was her first like medical thriller and she also wrote the Rizzoli Isles series which I love so yeah I was super excited to pick this one up as well so another Tess Gerritsen novel that I picked up is Bloodstream and this is about a doctor who I think is a psychiatrist and one day like one of her patients ends up committing something like a very very violent crime and just kind of like all the um, fallout from that and again this is like a medical thriller and it's just I love Ted Scarrett's and so I'm super excited to kind of have these. You guys know if you've watched my channel for a while that Kristen Hanna is one of my favorite authors. She wrote The Nightingale which is probably one of my all-time favorite books and she also has very good contemporary novels like adult chem contemporary and this one I saw and it's Between Sisters. I had my eye on this book for a while now and it was um, actually really cheap so it's basically a story about two sisters and kind of like there is like a fallout um, when they're younger and then I guess like fast forward like 30 years and they end up kind of having to rely on each other again and just kind of the dynamics between that and I love Kristen Hanna she always does a good job and there's always a tearjerker element to it so I can't wait to start this one as well next Kristen Hanna book that I got was True Colors and this is a contemporary novel about three sisters and kind of their mother dies and how that kind of changes their dynamics when they're young and it's similar to Between Sisters but this one as well and I think this book is told from different the each sister's perspective which I think will be interesting and yeah Kristen Hanna always does a good job and I always love her books. I also ended up getting two Kate Norton books and the first one I got was The Forgotten Garden and this was recommended to me by my mom and she and her sisters all read this so I think it's about a girl um, who abandons a ship in Australia in 1913 and she ends up kind of stumbling upon this forgotten garden and I don't really know too much about it I still like I think it's better to go into these kind of not blind kind of not really know what it's about and I just I trust my mom and my aunts with their book recommendations so yeah I'm super excited to have this one as well. Next Kate Morton book that I got was The Secret Keeper and this is about a girl who is 16 and she ends up um, witnessing this very like very bad crime and she keeps it a secret forever until she's on her deathbed and she kind of like shares it with her I think granddaughter or someone in her family and it just kind of revolves around that secret and how like even to this day like 50 years later it still has an impact and I thought this was really good this was also recommended by my aunts and my mom so yeah I'm super excited to have this one I feel like it's I've heard very great things about this so yeah I'm super excited to have this one as well the last book that I ended up getting was one that I was super excited. I saw it there and I was just like, yes, because I was waiting for it to come out on paperback just because it was cheaper. And then this ended up being the price of actually what the paperback would have been. So I decided to get the hardback version. And this is After You by Jojo Moyes. And this is kind of like the sequel to Me Before You. And I read Me Before You over the summer and I really loved it. And I can't wait for the movie to come out in June. And so yeah, when I saw that this was there, I went ahead and got it. I'm super happy to have this. And I think I'll be reading this very soon. So this one is a bit kind of weird. I don't know. Like, it's a coloring book, but it's for kids. But I don't know. It's still a coloring book. What's the difference between an adult coloring book and a kid's book, to be quite honest? It's the same thing. You're doing the same thing. And I saw this movie on Monday, and I really liked it. And it was Zootopia by Disney. And it was actually really good. I really liked it. So I saw this at... Um, the bookstore and it was only four dollars so I decided to pick it up and it's like the Zootopia coloring book so I know you're probably going to be laughing at me but it's I really liked it I thought it'd be just a cute fun coloring book and like they're actually the, they're pretty detailed and that's what I liked about it so that's how I justify it laugh all you want but yeah and it's no different than an adult coloring book to be quite honest it's just Disney <laughs> So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments below if you've read some of these books or if there's other books that you think I need to check out. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!